everybody, it's Marla sitting with Nashville Music Space and I'm here with my good buddy on the streets of Nashville, Keith Anderson. How you doing, darling? Good. Doing real good. What's How's life on the road treating you? It's good. We're back out. We're hitting hard, man. We just started back about three weeks ago. I've been on the West Coast most of the time since we're before the wars and then right back out there after awards. So it's just been busy. Now how is this... Uh, extraordinary artist life. I mean, is it everything you hoped it'd be? Is it hard work? What, it's a what? lot of hard work. And right now, we're, we just started writing this month, we're writing all of April and May for the next record. So my days off at home aren't days off now. I'm writing once or twice a day. So I'm pretty tired. We just got back. I have to tell you, about four or five years ago, I don't know how long it's been, when you were working on your first record, yeah. I came in the studio with you and Jeffrey Steele, and I was trying to interview Jeff for something, and he wouldn't get up off the floor. So I finally sat the floor with him. And you were walking in and out of the booth in there, and it was just the engineer and me and you and Jeffrey Steele. And I left there that day, and I was like, man, how lucky can a girl get to have these fellas sitting with her and working? So, you know, that's really a special time for me, uh, being in the studio with you. And how has your life changed since that first recording? Well, it's, it's been awesome. I mean, I'm getting to do what I've, what I've dreamed of doing and making a living doing it. And, uh, you know, I've been a songwriter and an artist, so it's been great. Not only for me as an artist, you know, getting a tour and playing my songs, but having other artists, you know, like Big and Rich and Gretchen and Jason Michael Carroll, people like that, cut my songs too. So it's, it's been pretty, pretty awesome. What's the key to uh, writing a good song? I just think it's got to be real. Like you got to find a great melody that just is undeniable, and then, and then you got to write something that's real. I mean, you write a, a lot of stinkers in between the great ones, you know. And that's just part of the process. And it's got, I think it's got to be real. It's something you live or somebody close to you live. Now, if people are aspiring songwriters out there or artists trying to make it in the music business, what should they do? Just work. You know, they got to play out. You just got to play, 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 and, and uh, hope to be discovered. And I just played every open mic night there was, every writer's night there was. I was out playing. And, and luckily, I got discovered by people like Victoria Shaw, Jeffrey Steele, and Kim Williams, people like that, and saw me playing out. Well, I think you're amazing, and apparently women around America think you're sexy. How, how's that feel, to be a That's, sexy man? I guess man. it's part of it. I mean, I, we weren't on those lists in high school, so it's been... It's been a lot of, it's, it's, you know, anything, any way you can get noticed. And I guess I'll take any of those uh, bachelor issues as long as I'm talking about the music. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. For the ladies? Yeah. You sure? Maybe not. I, I, you can ask whether I answer, who knows. Boxers or briefs? Oh, I just, I, it all depends on what I'm, how tight the jeans are. Sometimes neither if the jeans are tight. <laughs> they call that commando, yeah. girls. Okay, I'm here with my friend Keith Anderson on the streets of Nashville. You're watching Nash Nashville Music Space with Marla Sitton. Stay tuned.